<clears throat> Alright guys, so here's a Minarelli piston. It's got the oiler little ceramic top. <clears throat> As you can see it had signs of still heating up a little bit. Nothing major. But uh anyways rebuilding this for someone. But someone asked about the ceramic coating. Now this piston's actually been used and that's white. And it actually wipes off because it's like glass. It's a heat resistant ceramic. And I think there's some confusion about this with the Cerakote. Because there is different kinds. But yeah, this piston's used. I mean, you can see it's been used. But this wipes clean just. But yeah, this stuff here, this stuff is very, very tricky to apply. You put it on, you spray your secondary coat, and it gives it a hard shell, and then you bake it. And when you bake it, it actually turns into a ceramic type glass. Kind of like what you would put over clay and stuff like that. So, anyways, this is going back at someone's build, but you can see, even with it, there's still a little bit of the heat marks and stuff. Uh, you know, you can put these two oiler holes each side of your exhaust. That helps really in this area, not scar it up. But, I mean, to some extent, I don't know if those are old before you did it or after. Couldn't tell you, but that is a ceramic coating. And that thing's been in this bike probably 300 miles now. And that's what it looks like. And I'll show you something else. There's a trick to these. So... Here's another thing, too, that I've been using for quite a while now. Alright. So, this stuff here, um, if you put this in about an ounce, I would say for every two gallons of gas, okay? And, like, every eight tanks run some of this stuff through. This will clean all the crap out of your engine, out of your piston, and it keeps the cylinder and all the walls and the exhaust port and all that shit clean. So this stuff here, yeah, it'll work for fuel injectors, but if you read, it cleans the gas tank, intake, valves, fuel, pump, carburetor, that's all that shit listed. But what it does is it takes all those deposits from the oil and the gas and all that that's burned and it completely blows them right out the exhaust. So this stuff is killer. I put in an ounce every for two gallons of mix, like every eight tanks, and that's usually why all the pistons and everything when I'm doing them look so clean. So, just FYI. But it works great too after a break in. Alright, so one other thing to mention too before I put all this back together. Do you see that clip in there? Alright. I see so many people installing these in videos and they do it wrong. And I'm going to explain why. Okay? These Minarellis go past 8,000 RPM. So, when that piston is going up and down from top dead center to bottom dead center, the weight of that clip actually increases at 8,000 RPM, 40 millimeter stroke. The weight of that clip increases 10 times the weight that it is normally from the force applied on it. So once you start getting into like 12, 13,000 RPM, that clip can actually, from its own weight, compress itself and fall out. So you never want the opening to be lined up with either of these holes. It's actually supposed to be at the bottom or the top so that when the piston goes up and down, it doesn't deform, fall out, and rip your engine apart. So, just something people forget and don't really mention a lot. But anything that goes past 8,000 RPM will start to have that problem if it compresses the clip.